news, 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 news. Okay, well, first up. Um, Not old nudes, only the freshest nudes. Yeah. Uh, we do have one update. Uh, it's technically getting a new product, but it's an assembled version of our seven segment LED backpack. If you do not want to solder LED backpacks, you want to get them ready to go plug in with Stemma QT connectors, uh, we now have them in stock. Yeah, and uh, you could see a few different things about these. Yes, yeah, so it just comes assembled. Yeah. That's what it looks like on the front. About them too is you're like oh i remember these from previous show that's right um you we had the red ones web page and we have you know all bunch of different colors we have we're, we're, we're soldering each one and as we get them so we had red last week green we got done this week so we're gonna get more and more colors okay uh next up okay these are not technically nudes but they're they're still filaments yeah. um so this is a non-flexible led filament. let me actually get all these filaments out here because they're we're gonna <laughs> We're gonna jam through them. Um, so these are again used in like LED light bulbs or Edison bulbs or like other illumination, but they kind of look just look like little LED neon tubes. Um, and these are the non-flexible ones. So you can see they they don't they don't flex and move, um, but they operate the same way. Basically, you give them three volts um, on the anode and cathode, uh, about fifty you know milliamps or so, and they light up really bright. And these are. Um, I will say, if you go to the overhead. Yeah, I'll go to the overhead. I mean, they're incredibly bright. They're so bright you can't even really see them. Um, so if I disconnect, I mean, it's, it's, whoa, it's bright enough that lighting. Um, these are not just decorative, like you could actually light up an area. So, I mean, good if you want to make a light. And um, you could, of course, PWM them, um, but they're stiff and they've got this like soft, oops. The yeah, cameras some, does not like, like what I did. Dioramas and stuff like that. That use this or? Yeah, there's a bunch of sh ships and stuff. Ships. My microphone died. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Too much light. Yeah, my microphone died. Oh yeah. yeah I don't know why. Oh no. Do you want to use my mic? No. Okay. Well, you can come. Leave me don't alone. worry. I have I have plans within plans. Okay. Uh, sorry, so you get three of these, um, and they're very bright. Of course, you can chain them one after the other, and you get, you know, you power it with a 9 volts or whatever. Um, but these are non-flexible, so just be aware of that. I wouldn't even bend them, to be honest. Uh, inside are these LED elements, and what's nice is that, um, maybe you could go to the front camera. Yeah. Because I'll light this up because it's so bright. Um, the light's really uniform. The light is very uniform. Um, so unlike the flexible nudes that have, they're bonded onto, um, like a little flexible piece of metal, um, these, the light is like, it, it looks like a filament. The light is a hundred, is 360 degrees all the way around. You can't see any gaps or like flickery notes or, or darkened spots. All right. Okay. And then, um, we had a couple close-ups of this. Yes. All right. And, and you just it, solder to the little metal bits. Yeah. So, um, of course, you know, we mentioned the code for the show and everything, but uh, the star of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our customers, our entire team here at Ada Fruit, are nudes. Nudes. Well, I like to show off some nudes. Yeah. So, um, we've got a lot of yes. nudes. Um, we've been sending nudes to people. <laughs> we've been getting nudes and well, people uh, have been looking forward to seeing these nudes. <laughs> yeah okay so we've got basically 300 millimeter long noodles of flexible led filament and these are used in i mean they're basically used in like light bulbs that have funky shapes in them like you've seen light bulbs have like a little ghost or a star or a heart and this is what they use and they're flexible um and you know, there's no rating on the flexibility, but basically it seems like you can kind of flex them as much as you want. And as long as you're not like pinching and cracking them, they're good to go. Um, with the red one, you can see just because the red one is really covered with um, a, a dark, I mean, it's still quite bright, but it's, it's covered with filament. You can see that there is a little bit of each like little diode element. You can see the, um, the point light, whereas with the green, blue, white, and yellow, they're really bright. And so you don't, they, they kind of bl blend together. 
But this is kind of what like we always wanted El Wire to act like. You know, when we got like yeah. El Wire for the first time, it doesn't make a high pitch noise either. It doesn't make a high pitch noise. It uses yeah. a lot less power. Yeah, and then um, I wanted to show. Yeah, and you know, the, when they're off, the colors do look different, of course. So that's green, and then you know, blue. The blue actually has blue LED elements in it. Looks bluish. Yeah, and you know, you, the other ones are tinted, like they're you know obviously red. It's interesting. Red yeah. does not use. Um, the red, I think, maybe has red elements in it, but I still, you know, you power it off of three three volts. Um, but the warm white and the white and the blue yeah. are all, like, native colors. And, and then pink is white. I think it's cool white with, like, a pinkish plastic. Will it tolerate 3.3 volts? Well, I mean, there's a forward voltage of about three volts. You want to use a choke resistor. I'm not using one here because I am just doing a live demo, but um, you should treat it like a LED, right? It's a very long and thin noodly LED, but you do want to have a resistor. So you use like a 1K and then you power it from five volts or whatever, you figure out uh, the forward voltage and then the, the current draw, which is about 50 milliamps. Um, you know, I'm, I'm basically powering them off of my 3.3 volt supply, but it's not the right thing to do, right? You're not supposed to do that with an LED. Um, you're supposed to give it a, a choke resistor to current limit because it's a current device on a voltage device. Um, so that said, they're, they're you know super flexible. They're very skinny. Um, you can thread them through clothing. You can um, twist them around something. You can shape them. You can glue them down. Yeah, there um, was a lot of different- You can different, tie them in a knot. There's a lot of different types out there and you, you can macrame. get these on eBay and you can get these in elsewhere, but it's, uh, like gambling um someone even said in the chat they're like you know 60 percent of the ones they bought just don't work so no we, we found a really good factory and yeah and we, we basically got and these so, made for us in the shapes and colors and yeah colors. so you know ours are this is what adafruit Look, does these are high quality nudes yeah we have high quality nudes and then just you don't want cheap nudes yeah and then one quick uh note you could go to our page for the products and you can see you know which which ones we have, and we have a bunch of different colors. So you want to? Yeah. We can go to the overhead. Um, yeah, I just don't know how well this will show up. So, yeah, so just it's blast it. It's just pink. And yeah, it's just really cute. So one thing about the nudes to be aware of is, um, you can see the the substrate gridding. So there's like two thin wires, and then in between there's these little dots, and those are like micro LEDs. Um, and the LEDs point out. So there is like a front and back side to the noodle or the nudes. Um, yeah. And the front side, which is this part, is going to be much brighter than the back side because the back side is going to have like the refracted light, but it's not going to be shining out. So again, if, if it's really important for you to have like perfect 360 degree light for, you know, emission, these I think have double sided, it's hard to tell, or they're just really well diffused. Yeah. They look like a pure tube of light. How Whereas you, these are somewhat directional. How would you chain these together? You can, you just need to then, you know, add the voltages up. So if you yeah. add this one to this one, you know, you chain them to, together. Now you need six volts because yeah. each one is three volt forward. So it's, it's basically just like chaining an LED. You can chain as many as you want as long as you add three volts per and then you still want that current limiting resistor but yes you can chain them yeah you can't cut them and solder them though once you cut them you're never going to get to that little that little metal bit in the middle i mean it's just so fine i don't i don't think it's worth trying to get to i think you just get the length you need and then figure out how to make it work for yeah. you and uh don't put these on cats uh whoever suggested that in the youtube chat don't do that Oh. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Just, well, maybe your cat likes LEDs. Well, Those are very bright, though. Yeah. Um, All right, so they come in, yeah, yellow and sorry, green and red. And the warm white, of course, is the yeah. going to be most popular. And then the warm white, we also have it in a shorter length. Yeah. So thanks for checking out our uh, high-quality nudes here at Adafruit. That is this week's new products. Nudes, 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 nudes.